This is actual footage of fake beef's production process in the factory. Would you eat such meat? Would you eat these inflammable noodles? In China, the prevalence of fake products is a well-known fact, and amidst the surge of counterfeit goods, the issue of fake food particularly stands out. Food fraud not only poses a grave threat to people's health, but also erodes trust within society. Today, let's delve into the, some of the shocking fake food items found in the Chinese food market. Fake beef. Let's begin with the fake beef that you saw at the beginning of the video. Due to the high cost of beef, which is approximately 160 to 180 yuan, 22 to 26 USD per kilogram, businesses often cut costs by using cheaper meats such as chicken, duck, or pork, which cost around 20 yuan, 3 USD per kilogram, to create synthetic meat. To enhance the beef flavor, they add ingredients like beef essence or beef tendons. After these ingredients are mixed and marinated, gelatin is then added to mimic the texture of beef, making it chewy and elastic. Some manufacturers even craft a beef-like surface texture, making it hard to distinguish from real beef. Other sellers use leftover beef scraps, such as lymph nodes and internal organs, to produce fake beef. These low-cost scraps are ground into minced meat, mixed with additives to produce synthetic minced meat, fully consumers into thinking it's real minced beef. To cut even more costs, some unscrupulous businesses opt for using meat from deceased cows or aged sows to make fake beef. To make the fake beef's color resemble fresh beef, they add coloring agents such as carmine and nitrates. There are even some reckless merchants who simply combine eggs and starch or use plant protein to create a kind of composite meat, they then add various additives to make this substance closely resemble real beef in appearance and texture, though it contains no meat at all. Fake beef is everywhere. Can you believe it? When you order a dish of boiled beef or stir-fried beef at a restaurant, what you might be consuming may not be real beef. Today, let's take a closer look at the type of fake beef that has dominated the restaurant industry for over a decade, that is, Mongolian meat. When you hear Mongolian meat, you might be thinking of Mongolian beef, but there's actually no beef in here. This Mongolian meat comes in three different grades. The lowest grade contains duck meat and a bunch of additives, priced at 6 to 8 yuan. The mid-range option includes some pork and duck meat along with a heap of additives, priced between 8 to 10 yuan. The high-grade version consists of pork and a bunch of additives, priced around 10 to 15 yuan. The man in the video reveals that a bag of Mongolian meat contains two smaller bags, enough for two servings. The cost of one portion of restaurant-served boiled beef is 5 yuan, while they sell it to you for 58 yuan per bowl, allowing the owner to make a profit of 50 yuan. What's more, we can see that the list of ingredients on the packaging of Mongolian meat includes pork scraps, duck scraps, frost sodium citrate, Carangenian and other additives, it's all additives. In this next video, the man claims to have bought fake beef in Chaonan New Street in Guangzhou. People nowadays are truly clever. They can fake just about anything. And the fakes look so convincing. They've made the tendon, they've got the real color. It's honestly hard for the naked eye to see through. When I bought it at the store, the salesperson claimed it was prime beef. After cutting it, you can't tear it apart. No idea what kind of glue they used. Cut it open and you'll see, the white part is a glue. If you try burning it with a lighter, it actually catches fire, and it produces a smell just like burning plastic. They're selling this kind of beef for 1 to 200 yuan for half a kilogram. How is fake beef jerky made? As the video shows, first a mold of the beef jerky is created. Once the mold is ready, it is disassembled and refined into a perfect shape. Then the mold is cleaned. After that, the ingredients for the fake beef are prepared. Following this, the jerky is baked. Once cooked, the fake beef jerky is removed and then it undergoes a second coloring and glazing. Finally, the fake beef jerky is completed. Speaking of meat, fake lamb and fake lamb chops have also become a headache for consumers in recent years. During the merchandise slaughter process, lamb is categorized by its parts and then released into the market after passing inspections. 
However, some businesses, in order to cut cost, mix low quality or even spoiled meat with chemical ingredients such as flavorings for processing. In terms of taste and appearance, these fake lamb chops are almost indistinguishable from real ones. Some businesses use an enzyme that can act as a binding agent, mixing duck and chicken meat with beef, along with the right seasoning to create fake lamb chops. The picture posted here is even more interesting. The man bought lamb chops at a food festival in Shenzhen and only realized after taking a bite that there was a chopstick inserted into the meat. The individual humorously remarked that it was another day of falling for tricks. Have you ever witnessed the production process of plastic rice? You'll see white plastic continuously being conveyed into a machine, which then extrudes dough-like substances from the other end. The dough-like object is then put into another machine, and after undergoing processes like wire drawing and threading, the machine produces shiny plastic rice. The same goes in this video. An unidentified gel-like substance is poured into the machine, and what comes out from the other end is rice. Even the popular self-heating rice products that have gained popularity in recent years have their hidden surprises. The rice you can find in the supermarket is usually crystal clear, with distinct grains. In contrast, the rice in self-heating meals appear like long, thread-like strands. If you look closely, you'll even notice some tiny bubbles within, forming irregular elliptical strands. So it turns out that what's being sold is not real rice, but reconstituted rice, which is made primarily from rice, wheat, and cornstarch. Seasonings and food additives are then added, and after a certain proportion is determined, the mixture is ground, then processed through extrusion and puffing to form something that looks similar to regular rice. However, because many nutrients are lost during the production process, it's not recommended for long-term consumption. Lately, there is even a type of rice marketed as natural green rice. It claims to be a specialty from northeast China, but many people from that region have only become aware of it in the last two years. The quality of this green rice, which is advertised as free from colorants and additives, have been the subject of numerous blogger reviews. I've bought some all-natural, non-artificially colored bamboo rice, which cost me 16 and a half yuan per kilogram. This is the most expensive rice I've purchased so far. Let's take a look at its ingredients list. It includes corn flour, spinach flour, mulberry leaf powder, fresh bamboo leaf powder, and water. The ingredient list has anything but rice. The blogger mentioned that this kind of rice looks fresh after cooking, but its color is a bit faded. After cooking, it sticks together like glue, forming a solid mass. The texture when eating is similar to chewing on glue. It could even dislodge your dentures. A man bought a pack of noodles priced 10 yuan for half a kilogram, only to discover something alarming at home. After soaking the noodles in water overnight, not a trace of powder dissolved, and the noodles could even be stretched. This has shocked them, and apparently he will not be eating it. Another customer mentioned they would never buy noodles from the market again after witnessing a noodle shop owner kneading dough and simply ignore the customers when they asked to select which type of noodle to buy. This raised suspicions. Could the flour used in these noodles be different from what's found in home kitchens? Later, the customer learned from a neighbor who has been running a noodle business for over 10 years that many noodles on the market contain carcinogenic substances like borax to enhance their elasticity and texture. Noodles with borax usually have a smooth surface and are white with a slightly yellow tint. Formaldehyde can also be added to make noodles appear fresher. For noodles that don't soften easily, some producers add strengthening agents and others include carcinogenic chemicals like sulfur dioxide to improve the appearance. Despite looking appetizing, these noodles pose potential health risks. To investigate the composition of fake noodles further, a blogger conducted an experiment. Observing the noodle samples under a microscope, the blogger found it strange to see granular substances clearly visible. Moreover, these noodles had strong elasticity, didn't spoil over time, and didn't become sticky. The blogger then used a borax detection kit, which confirmed the presence of borax in these granules. Another blogger conducted a simple thermometer height test. 
they coated both a boiled and an unboiled noodle sample with a Formata high detection solution. After 30 minutes of waiting, the results were revealed. The uncooked noodle showed a moderate to high level of formaldehyde of between 1.1 to 1.2, far exceeding the normal caution level of 0.1. The cooked noodles had levels around 0.5, with slightly lighter coloration indicating that formaldehyde remains even after cooking. Fake tofu. Tofu, a highly popular and nutritious food, is generally considered a natural product, so normally one should not worry about buying fakes, right? Surprisingly, fake tofu has also appeared in China. Some types of fake tofu are extremely hard with no elasticity when pressed by hand. This type of tofu is suspected to contain industrial gypsum with a significantly excessive chemical content, potentially posing carcinogenic risk when consumed excessively. Another variety of fake tofu appears white and tasty but emits a lime powder odor. This suggests the use of whitening agents which may adversely affect one's health if consumed in excess. Some unscrupulous merchants even add gelatin during tofu production making it impossible to soften even after prolonged cooking and is generally unpleasant to eat. There's also tofu with an unusually smooth cut surface devoid of tofu's natural honeycomb texture, suggesting the addition of coglunits. This type of tofu won't soften even after long periods of cooking. Fake buns. Consumers dining out need to exercise caution, particularly regarding aluminum buns. Authentic buns naturally have a slight yellow tint, while aluminum buns appear white and soft. Aluminum buns are made using sweetening baking powder containing aluminum sulfate and aluminum hydroxide which are acidic substances. During steaming, these substances produce carbon dioxide, causing the buns to expand and appear larger and whiter. While these buns may look appealing and taste soft, the aluminum sulfate they contain could pose health risks. Consuming these buns over time can affect bone development and memory in children. A blogger also examined buns made with lymphatic meat under a microscope and found out that the meat appeared darkened in color. Lymphatic tissue, being part of the animal's immune system, contains large amounts of phagocytes that ingest bacteria and viruses, making it susceptible to contamination by pathogens like Salmonella and Staphylococcus aureus, and thus unfit for consumption. Unquarantined pig lymphatic meat could expose consumers to various zoonotic diseases. Fake eggs. The world is full of surprises, as even eggs can be faked. A woman showcased the fake eggs that she bought, noting they often crack in the middle unlike the intact appearance of normal eggs. The egg whites and shells of fake eggs are darker in colour. The most distinctive feature is that the yolks of fake eggs are often a single uniform mass rather than being dispersed naturally. This may be due to the addition of thickeners and the ununiformed appearance of yolk colour is achieved through colouring or other chemical methods. The woman expressed concern, showing that these eggs lack any flavour and are entirely spoiled when opened. The production process of fake egg is rather puzzling, primarily involving the mixing of various compounds. These compounds have no nutritional value and long-term consumption can cause harm to the body. The first step is creating fake eggs as to make the egg white. Sodium alginate is mixed with water to form a solution, the base for the egg white. The solution is stirred continuously until it thickens into a substance resembling egg white. The egg yolk is made similarly, but with the addition of colorants like lemon yellow to the sodium alginate solution. This colorful solution is then poured into specially designed molds and solidified in a calcium chloride solution. The eggshell is formed from a mixture of calcium carbonate and other materials placed in molds to achieve the shape of an eggshell. It's almost unthinkable that even tea leaves can be counterfeited. A video showcases a woman demonstrating the process of scenting tea leaves. Pour this fragrance water into a measuring cup, open the air compressor switch, aim the nozzle inside the tea leaf container and spray some fragrance water into the container while stirring the tea leaves. This is a process of adding fragrance. The end results are finely misted tea leaves. This is what we call fragrance tea. To enhance their appearance, some unethical businesses add artificial colorants to tea leaves during processing. There have been reports of lead chrome green being added to green tea, giving it more of a vibrant green appearance. However, this colorant is an industrial pigment. 
that is toxic in nature and should not be used as a food additive. Manufacturers also add sugar to tea leaves, aiming to improve the glossiness and sweetness of the dry tea. The sugars used include edible sugars and artificial sweeteners. Some merchants even make use of inferior materials to substitute for higher quality ones, creating blends that are difficult for the average consumer to distinguish. The most common example of this is blending of lower quality Tiaguanyin tea. Tiaguanyin, a tea plant variety and also a name for a specific tea making process, often includes blends of other varieties similar to Tiaguanyin, particularly among many of the cheaper options available on the market. Fake Honey Beehives Honey as a natural nutritional food is cherished for its unique flavor and numerous health benefits. However, in recent years, some businesses seeking illicit gains have employed various illegal methods to counterfeit honey, flooding the market with fake and substandard products. The most common method of faking honey involves mixing syrup and adding fragrance, making it look like real honey. This deception is hard to discern based solely on appearance. Some businesses feed bees sugar, which in the presence of ample food sources discourage them from collecting nectar, thereby saving time and increasing honey production at the expense of taste quality. Additionally, some businesses add maltose or sodium clacolamate among with various additives to mimic honey. While merely affecting taste might seem harmless, some producers create fake honey by mixing alum and white sugar which with long-term consumption can damage the brain's nervous system leading to irreversible memory loss some unethical businesses use low-cost honey to impersonate high quality honey adding corn syrup and flavors to create honey that is difficult to distinguish from the genuine product to ensure that you are buying trustworthy honey it is essential to compare products from different sources and purchase from reputable sellers Unscrupulous merchants may use cheap honey as a substitute for premium honey, adding high fructose corn syrup and flavorings, making it difficult to distinguish from the real product. To purchase good quality honey, consumers should shop around and buy from a trustworthy merchant. In recent years, not only honey, but even beehives have also frequently been counterfeited. I bought this for 30 yuan, which comes in a square shaped box that looks quite appetizing. The seller claimed it to be natural beehive honey, assuring us it could be safely soaked in water and consumed. He explains upon examining a piece of honeycomb, a line can be seen in the middle. This is where the problem lies. There's this substance visible when we pull it apart, and next we'll soak it in lukewarm water to see what happens. It's revealed that the substance is made from industrial paraffin wax, which is a must use when producing artificial honey. It is highly hazardous to the human body as it contains carcinogenic substances like polycystic aromatic hydrocarbons and condensed aromatic hydrocarbons, especially when leached into warm water. I purchased this at the Xu Fang Ping night market in Changsha. The stall is called Lao Dai Little Seafood and the sea cucumber is priced at 96 yuan per half a kilogram. Did you think this was sea cucumber? I ate quite a bit before realizing that something was amiss. This is fake sea cucumber made from fish mole, but sold as seafood. There have been reports of a well-known restaurant in Dalian which used sponge as a substitute for sea cucumber. A tourist in Rizao, Shandong, bought seafood for 60 yuan per half a kilo only to discover the crab legs appear to be stuffed with gluten. This man spent 400 yuan on mantis shrimp only to find them hollow and filled with water upon opening. Some describe the current state of Chinese society as billions of lives have been sacrificed to toxic milk powder, vaccines, contaminated classrooms, running tracks and moldy foods. China's food crisis have reached a point where not eating can lead to immediate death from starvation, but eating can lead to a slow death from poisoning. The public criticizes the authorities for inadequate regulations. The Chinese government's so-called food safety supervision is merely empty promises as China's food safety defenses crumble and the dangers of poisoned food nearly spiral out of control. The food safety issue also highlights multiple challenges in Chinese society, including a lack of information transparency, an imperfect legal environment and declining social trust. 
Under the CCP's regime of violence, lies and poisoning, Chinese people continue to struggle to navigate life.